Hello, in this video we will discuss about the digestion types so intracellular and extracellular. That is the little bit explained video we will discuss here. So the what is intracellular digestion? Intracellular digestion and extracellular digestion we will discuss. So the intracellular digestion is the food particles engulfed by phagocytosis or pinocytosis. Phagocytosis means the solid particle or pinocytosis means the liquid particle and it can be food vacuole fused with lysosomes and lysosome is very important for intracellular digestion within the cell so intra mean within the cell so the fused with lysosomes contain hydrolytic enzyme uh, its example of this intracellular uh, digestion uh, sponges and amoeba which that is used the only intracellular but the human is also used the intracellular let's begin to understand all things so the extracellular uh, is basically the breakdown of food particle outside of cells occurs in compartment that are continuous with the outside of the animal's body example is the insect and humans because humans contain digestive tract gastrointestinal gastrointestinal tract and that's gastrointestinal tract is the outer part basically is invaginate through evolutionary process so here is the different type of food when we will intake so first of all we will understand about the extracellular digestion so here is the salivary gland which that is used the exocrine uh, enzyme for digestion of the carbohydrate salivary gland is the three types the parotid glands and sub mandibular and sublingual gland and esophagus liver stomach large intestine small intestine rectum anus appendix and cecum that is the part of digestive system and oral cavity is used for the partial digestion of the uh, food so here is the stomach i am drawing again here for understanding so the intake of food in the form of bolus after the mastication this bolus go into the duodenum after the digestion of protein the partial digestion and convert into the chyme and this chyme in the duodenum which that is allowed the pancreas and gallbladder produce the different type of enzyme and uh, bile pigment so the pancreas produce trypsin lipase and amylase which that is used for the complete digestion of the protein carbs and fats but the complete digestion will be occurring the brush borders enzyme of the enterocyte we are not discussing here so here is the blood circulatory system after the complete digestion absorption will be occur and absorption into the circulatory system so the absorption can be amino acid lipid fats sugars and other vitamin as well as the ions so in this way the after the absorption the circulation increase the hyperglycemia will be occur hyper um, hyper um, uh, hyper amino acid and hyperlipidemia will be occur and that's will be disposed into the tissue for energy and the development as well as growth so here is the assimilation will be occur this is known as assimilation because it is the part of the it will become a part of the body for example in the adipose tissue the sugar and fat will be enter adipose tissue adipocytes and the peripheral tissue other tissue for example muscle etc which that is sugar will move inside and in this way the pancreas will produce insulin due to the hyperglycemia and produce insulin will bind with the insulin receptor to open the glute channel for the entry of the glucose inside so the glyco glycolysis will be occur lipogenesis will be occur so there are many anabolic formation will be occur so this is the extracellular digestion so let's begin to understand the intracellular digestion so the intracellular digestion is many types the macro autophagy uh, crinophagy chapiron mediated phagy uh, autophagy micro autophagy so the macro and micro so let's begin to understand one by one here i am drawing the cell for understanding what is this so this is the cell which contain a plasma membrane lysosomes so lysosome is very important for the intracellular digestion and cytoplasm mitochondria as well as nucleus and vacuole so here is the endocytosis of the vacuole or some food 
So this is the phagocytosis or pinocytosis on the basis of solid or liquid particle of food. So this food will be enter or some food can be happen, some food which that is related to the extracellular part. For example, in the human body during the kidney transplantation, so the carbohydrate stitching will be digest. So that is the major example for that. So that stitching is uh, a stitching thread is made up of carbohydrate will digest through this mechanism through lysosome. So the lysosomal interaction with the endocytosis of the uh, food particle. So here I am drawing the uh, lysosome for understanding better and we will discuss about the different type of the uh, different type of the uh, uh, intracellular digestion. So this is known as intracellular digestion because it is doing inside of the cell because the lysosome is the organelle. So here the macro autophagy first we will discuss which that is the different type uh, macro art, macro macro pexophagy macro my um, mitophagy uh, agri agriphagy and uh, reticulophagy so the um, here this the mito uh, macro mitophagy is used for the mitochondria uh, damage mitochondria and engulfing and recycling and agri agri my agriphagy is used for the aggregation of different molecule and reticulophagy is the reticular type of the endoplasmic reticulum uh, recycling so here is the macro autophagy general view we will discuss so the here is the phago 4 formation and after the endocytosis of the food particles so the phago 4 will be formed and this phago 4 will be converted into autophagosome this is the some in body little body so this will endocytosed into the and uh, in, engulfed by the phag, uh, lysosome and go inside and after the enzymatic digestion hydrolytic enzyme are present which that is hydrolyze the food and convert into the smaller pieces and these pieces will be move out why because it is used for the recycling and the simple molecule from the catabolism is known as the part of the anabolism uh, metabolism is known as catabolism and this recycling this molecule this micro molecule can be recycled into the cytoplasm so while on the other hand here is the another is the chapiron mediated autophagy this is the very special autophagy in this way here is the after the hsc 17 uh, cochapiron which that is used for it and this cochapiron here is the uh, uh, red color and here is the lamp 2a which that is bind here is the domain and is the uh, first is the recognition of substrate via a HSC, HSC, co, HSC 70 co chapiron and after the recognition it will be bind together with a substrate and a co chapiron and this co chapiron will be bind and after the binding with the and this is the more domains of the uh, LYC uh, HSP 19 will be occur and in this way the lamp 2a formation is the complex formation after this is the basically is the unfolding unfolding of the substrate and this unfolding of the substrate will lead to endo uh, uh, inside movement and gulf influx influx of the food so the gafp is the basically is the uh, combination of three domains and you can see the four four uh, translocation will be a curve of the substrate after the unfolding so unfolding will translocate inside so the LYS HSP 17 which that is used for the endocyte uh, inside is the using for the enzymatic hydrolytic enzyme used for the cutting after this done the um, this mechanism the EF1 alpha is the disassembly formation through a phosphorylation of the EF1 alpha and after the phosphorylation it will be bind with the LYS uh, HSP 17 you can see and understand and here is the lipid uh, micro domains are present here is the lipid micro domains so this all is the lipid micro domain and the phosphate group is add and in this way the CATHA is used for the cutting and degradation so after this degradation will be occur and this degradation basically 
uh, will remove these things and complete the uh, mission complete the mission for the engulf of the food particle in the form of substrate so, so you can see this is the enzymatic activity let's begin to understand other things is the micro autophagy micro means the little and micro is the microscopic and this micro molecule is basically the very little and this is basically is not complex but simple but it is uh, not far complex as compared to the others so it will be moved and uh, engulfed and the enzymatic activity will hydrolyze this substrate so here is the cryophagy this cryophagy is the secretory granules which that is secreted from the golgi bodies and rough endoplasmic reticulum after the secretion it will be moved inside so this is basically is the fusion after the fusion so the hydrolytic enzyme used for the simple protein production why because for example the we will not take the uh, protein so the amino acids will come from this mechanism so that the, that is the basically is the important during the fasting state the autophagy will refine the cell inside of the cell will refine and damage mitochondria will recycle so that is very important and cancer cell will be prevention by the autophagy so this is the intracellular uh, digestion so the significance of this is the autophagy is important catabolic process that delivers the cytoplasmic material to the lysosome for degradation for uh, for cell survival by elimination of damaged organelles and proteins aggregates as well as the by facilitating the bioenergetic homeostasis so that is very important a homeostatic condition for the survival of the cell so thanks for watching this was the digestive system mechanism